Welcome to GITV News. These are the stories for the week. The fourth installment of what most consider to be the premier tennis series is now in development. So much has been confirmed by 2K Games, who have told several publications that 2K Czech is currently developing Top Spin 4. Release date is still set for next year. Ubisoft has announced that they're currently working together with Finnish developer Housemark on a new game called Outland. The game is supposed to be in the vein of old classics like Another World and Flashback, while using the gameplay mechanic from Ikaruga. That means that you have to switch colors to avoid enemy fire while also dealing heavy damage. It should come as no surprise that Activision is doing all they can to really make the next Call of Duty, Call of Duty Black Ops, the very best game it can be. Therefore, they have also gone out of the way to hire some really good Hollywood talent to voice, voice acting for the upcoming game. And because I'm not the Call of Duty buff that most of you are, I'll have to resort to my manuscript. Gary Oldman will reprise the role as Victor Reznor from World of War, while Ed Harris will voice CIA operative Jason Hudson. Furthermore, the team has hired David S. Goyer to help with the script. Dynamite Entertainment has cut out the own nation we were with the BitTrip games, and the next game in the series will be BitTrip Fate. Not much is known uh, about the game other than it will be a 2D shooter in the weird but deliciously nice uh, graphic style that the previous games has also been delivered in. So uh, more news as we hear it. The PS3 exclusive multiplayer beta for the upcoming Assassin's Creed Brotherhood will be out on the 4th of October. The beta will include uh, two different game modes, Wanted and Alliance, on two different maps with nine playable professions, each with their own unique weapons and signature moves. The full game will be out on the 18th of November. And finally, for the very best news story of the week, Duke Nukem Forever lives again. This time the project has been picked up by Gearbox Software, who promises that the game will be out at the start of next year. To back up their claim though, the game was actually playable at last week's PAX and it looked really good. The game will be out on Xbox 360, PS3 and PC next year.